What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to discuss if NHL 22 will be announced at EA Play Live 2021 in just a few days from now. Um, you know, they've they've announced that they're not going to do several things at EA Play Live, and uh, that's slightly disappointing or majorly disappointing, honestly. But NHL is something that's very close to my heart. I know it may not interest my core audience, like the people that are subscribed, maybe, but if you guys, the new people, if you guys want to subscribe, make sure that you do. Make sure you guys hit the bell icon. But, but uh, hockey is a major passion in my life. I don't play it. It's one of the greatest sins uh, I, I did. It's something I really regret, you know, looking back growing up. But I love hockey. I love watching hockey. Um, I love playing the NHL games, even though they're treated horribly, just like all EA Sports games are. I love the franchise. I've bought slash played the last 12 NHL games. Uh, so I think I, I'm well versed in talking about them, just so if you want a little bit of background about me. But, you know, it's the only sport game right now from uh, good old EA that hasn't been announced yet. And I think it's, uh, it really always gets the short end of the stick. To be flat out honest with you, this literally is another real time example of them almost not caring at all about NHL. Again, because. You know, I get timing, and they they generally have a good time that they do it um, with like the playoffs and the 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 ceremony or like the award show, right? For for the actual NHL season, I get timing is off, and I get those things are off. But generally, uh, it's always last. It's always last. It always, it actually, the last couple of years, it tends to just get press releases. Whereas like Madden and FIFA, it's more of a big deal. They talk about them at EA. They talk about about them at their main events. NHL literally always gets shoved under the rug. And that's a an honest question for right now for for this uh, you know again this upcoming uh, EA play and for NHL 22 do they choose to do it at it or do they maybe announce it a day or two and hopefully I'm getting this up before then do they announce it a day or two before EA play right because the rumors, okay, then there are actually semi-good rumors uh, in regards to NHL. One of them, I believe somebody found a few days ago, that there's a there's an alpha already up, uh, kind of disguised, on the PlayStation Store for PS4. That's, again, like the, uh, well, they I think they call it an alpha, but I think somebody else called it a beta. So one of them, right, where you just get to play the game a couple months early, as we've done the last several years with NHL, right? So that's been spotted. So it's, it's absolutely coming, and the question is, do they announce it? Add EA Play Live, and then do they do? Uh, then the, I guess do they do you announce the game? Okay, like for the first time, you show the cover af athlete stuff like that, and then you say, oh, and also the beta starts today, or sign ups maybe sign ups start today, and the beta starts next week or the week after, right? Again, timing all actually lines up. This is around the time we would normally get access to NHL, so I don't, I don't think it's a, it's a bad thing. I I will say. Uh, unlike the other things I've talked about with EA Play Live, I actually do think this is going to be there. It's a little odd because they mentioned Madden, I believe, directly in the kind of press release for EA Play, right? Well, like we know, we know to expect Battlefield, we know to expect Apex Legends, we know to expect Madden, we know to expect uh, most likely the Dead. Well, they didn't say it, but like the Dead Space game is going to be there. Uh, they didn't say anything about NHL, and honestly, they didn't say anything about FIFA, which is a little odd. But I assume there's going to be like a sports, like little, you know, like, like a little uh, pro. Program talking about those games. You know, they did actually say that the opening is going to almost be a recap of the last several weeks. I wonder if they almost just throw NHL in there just as a throwaway thing just to kind of get out of the way. But no, I I would say, official prediction, I do think we get some big NHL news, in, you know, and, and actually like jumping to the chase, right? Cover, like the cover athlete, the release date, details about the game, stuff like that. I think we get all of that probably this week, whether it's like a day or two before EA Play or at EA Play. And then, you know, like things, like with NHL, a lot of the stuff kind of comes afterwards too. They they normally do like the press release or a trailer, then they'll do like a blog post, then a few days or a few weeks later, you know, the community manager over there, they'll answer some uh, you know, frequently asked questions. They'll talk about like the five things that they added to the game or they updated, right? Those are the things that we can expect every year. Remember, the rumor is they're they're porting it to the Frostbite engine, so it's making the jump to the next engine. So it should look better. Don't know how much, you know, improvement besides that it's really going to give the game. May come out on PC, right? So this will be, I think, a more active year for NHL in general. And again, I think it honestly starts probably this week. So let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. Are you expecting to see it this week or maybe some other time? Maybe Make sure, if you guys haven't already, you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on. As you can maybe tell from my channel, I do cover a lot of things, but I do cover NHL, uh, you know, the game, the game as well. So when the game releases, I will have videos on it, uh, just like all the other stuff 
that I cover, okay? So just if, if you guys say, oh, it's a one-off video, he'll never do it again. No, I will cover it. And I've covered them actually for several years in a row now, okay? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.